All right, let's reach that point. I want to check on the chicken and see what's going on. I might want to go ahead and take that full off so we can get the screen, skin crispy. It's not going to be getting uh, crispy with the full on. Okay, it's been in there. I'm looking at the timer. It shows that it has 20 minutes left for it to be a full hour. So let's see what we're, see what we're working with. Okay, perfect. All right, it's cooking nicely. There are quite a few in there, so I'm, good. I'm glad that we went ahead and took this cover off. It's going to be beautiful golden brown just like that. So we're going to put those back in the oven and let them cook now. One thing I see... Um, one thing I see them do on TV... Is they will... a little bit of oil to the top a little bit of the fluid so that's not drying out so that's what I'm, what I'm going to attempt to do now see that or not it's going to be so good okay so I'm going to stick that back back in the oven without the full. One thing I do want to do is get rid of a little bit of the rest of the juice that's cooking in. Not all of it, but just a little bit because uh, there's some fat in there too. So we just got rid of a lot of that juice. There'll be more, but let's stick this back in the oven. So we have that cooking. Something else just dawned on me. This is something I want to do real quick. Hopefully it don't seem like it's too late. It's going to add a lot of flavor. Nice fresh onion this time. So that's junk we had last time. Okay, so I'm going to take this onion. I had the asparagus cooking for a few minutes. It don't take all that long, but I want to get everything preheated. So let's take a glance at that real quick. Hopefully it didn't cook too long. Okay, perfect. So what I'm going to do is take this onion. See how I'm slicing it so that it's so, somewhat thin. So I'm going to take as long to cook. I don't know if you're a fan of onions. Some people hate onion. I don't know if you've ever tried to, to cook with onions. They turn sweet. turns really sweet and great flavor. So I'm just going to add this to our asparagus. Mix it up. This is going to cook on top of it, and the, all these little onion pieces, you see them scattering out. That's why I chopped it that way, so you have these big chunks. But they're still thin at the same time, so they're not going to take forever to cook. Just for um, the heck of it, I'm going to add to those onions a little bit more garlic. Just a tiny bit, I didn't add much, and this a little bit more of this roasted seasoning. So it's on top of those onions. Alright, and that can go back in the oven now. And we're going to throw this on. Too hot. Too hot, I wouldn't have been able to pick it up. Okay, so we have that on, um, air frying. I did want to add that onion to show you the difference. Oh man, we forgot this person. Got this one. All right, so we have that added. I, that was bothering me the whole time that I was waiting. It was driving me crazy. I said, you know what? I want to get the onion on there. It's going to make a huge difference. I think the people around don't really like that. This onion can be really strong and overpowering. So I'm going to try to find a bag that I can put this in. I'm going to double wrap it because <clears throat> I'll be using this tomorrow. 
All right, so I put it in the bag, and then what I'm going to do is just double bag it. That way it's not going to have any chance of air escaping or getting, you know, something go bad. Still going to be fresh tomorrow. All right, so we have our onion now. We have our asparagus cooking, and did you see the corn? Check out the corn. Corn is cooking well. It's done. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it is done. And I don't think we ever got it up to a bowl. I just had it on three, just kind of chilling over here. So what I'm going to do is bring this up the temperature. I'm going to get it to a bowl real quick and then reduce it back down. But I just want to show you that. So the chicken is cooking now. Let's cut that light on. Oh man, it's all fogged up. But man, it's going to be good. I can tell that crust. Um, I mean the skin. I'm sorry, I'm tired y'all. I didn't get much sleep last night. So I'm kind of like slurring my words a little bit i'm just real tired i apologize but anyways i wanted to cook for you and show you this goodness i didn't want to just cook it and not get it on film even though i'm not feeling up to par really um but there you go boom i just want to add this in and that's going to be good give me just a few minutes this thing will be done